oh my god, there's a new visitors episode. Oh. <laughs> Do any of you watch that? Just wondering. Anyways, um, it's live on App Store. What's going on? I have, an app, I have a double app review. Double. One's one for the iPod Touch and iPhone. Another one is just for the iPhone, and that's called Red Laser, and that I'll get to after this one. Um, and that's an awesome application. That is so cool. Anyways, Auditorium is a free app, and this game is ridiculously awesome. It's a music game, but it's a very, it's really, really different from any other music game I've ever ever played. This is such a great, such a great idea, whoever decided, um, whoever designed this. Um, and I will apologize right now for that uh, incredibly annoying glare. Um, that's just going to be there. I don't know. Honestly, guys, if you guys can tell me how to do good, how to like, you know, set up some good light settings for doing app reviews, please tell me in the comments or PM me about it. Um, I don't know. Anyways, so what Auditorium is, is a very interesting um, music game. Uh, so you have this, this is pretty much your entire main screen. You have on the screen somewhere something that looks like a volume thingy majig. You have an arrow with a circle around it, and you have this like flow of some white stuff or some colored stuff or something else. This is one of the earlier levels, so there's only one of these, um, and I'll show you the harder difficulties as um, once I actually explain the game. There is no main menu, there's nothing like that. Um, but there is, if you, this is a little pause menu right here, you can go into the store, um, options uh, about level selector, there's a lot of acts, and in each act there's around seven, you know, like seven levels, six levels, six levels, six, five levels, six levels. Um, so for a free application, they do give you a lot to mess around with, which is incredibly awesome of them, of EA, I never think EA would ever do that. Anyway, so let's get on to the game. Uh, this is, I believe, one of the very first levels. Whoa! Okay, so the main the main objective in this title is to guide this flow that creates magical music um, into this music container that will fill up, and eventually, once it actually fills up, um, you complete the level and music starts to play. So, as you can see, it's empty right now. There's only one thing right there. So I have to guide, I have to get this flow somehow to go into here. And that's where these arrow things come in. Uh, these little arrow things with the circles control the direction and, uh, yeah, just the direction of the flow of the music creating flow thingy. So as you can see, if I push it up there, it'll go to over there. So this arrow, you can't change the direction of the arrows they give you, uh, but you can change the velocity and the, and the strength in which it turns. So you can just mess around with that, and you can see I'm filling it up right now. And once you fill up the entire thing, all this other stuff will go away, and you can see, once you get into the higher, harder levels, but I'll actually show you, um, the end result is a really beautiful, you know, really relaxing looking thing. And the music that gets played um, is quite relaxing as well, and it's a really such a blast to play. So, this is the end. I just beat the level. It was really simple, you know, you just guided the stream into one. Um, so that's the main purpose of this game. You tap to end it, and you see it fades away. It goes on to the next level. Let me just show you uh, a more difficult level. So I, I honestly, I would definitely uh, recommend this one. Let's go into. Oh, I can't. I can't do it left yet. I'm only on amethyst. And you can see that once you get into the higher levels, you get different colors and really, really interesting um, designs and stuff with the different colored lines and flow, which is it, it gets really, really interesting looking once you actually um, complete the game no complete the level anyway so this is one of the more difficult ones you see you have three different colors um, the thing starts as a white flow but then it goes into a purple one uh, and as soon as you as soon as the flow hits one of these different colored circles it turns into that different colored circle uh, it, it turns into that color flow and you can see here that this one is yellow uh, this container this one's purple this one's white and this one's purple so you have to somehow uh, manage to get the flow all through the different colors to fill the different containers. So it's a very, very interesting puzzle game that involves music in a very unique way I've really never seen before. Um, it's much different from Tap Tap, which I really like. It's a breath of fresh air, especially since it's free. So let me actually just try and complete this level for you. As you can see, um, you can stretch out the circles, and you can see that the um, it, it gets um, I don't know what to, I don't know how to describe that. It, you know, you'll just have to mess around with it yourself because I guarantee you, you will enjoy this game. Uh, if you go get it since it's free. So you can enlarge the circles and, and um, you know, shrink them up. And this will guide the flow in a stronger direction towards that arrow or a less stronger, as you can see. So, yeah, let me just try and really quickly. So you can see that's filling up the, oh, filling up the yellow. Hold on. It's a base. Wait, I'm going to try to. There we go. Oops. 
And for each different uh, stage, the, I'm in the Amethyst one. You just saw me in the first stage. I don't know what the name of that one was. Uh, they have different. It's a different tune for each stage. So that's very also. That's also extremely funky and fun. Let's try and guide this one. Wait a minute. Oh. And this one's a little difficult. I am. Um, this is the level I'm stuck on. So let me just show you one that I actually can do. Um, it does get slightly frustrating, um, it eventually does, actually, let me show you this one, because this one actually looks kind of interesting. Okay, let's see, what did I do? Okay. Hmm. Let me see. Aha. There you go, and I got it, it's filling up. And you can see, I completed the level, and you see now, um, once you actually fill up all the containers, everything goes away, and you're left with this really gorgeous, nice-looking design you got going on there. It's very calming, very nice-looking. Yeah, let's let that play for a little bit. And so, the music changes every time. So yeah, that's pretty much of that app, um, Auditorium. It's made by EA. I would definitely go recommend that one. Uh, it's free, so you really want to go check that out right now. Um, you can play it on the iPod Touch or iPhone. Oh, but Fruit Ninja, such an incredible game. I'll review that and Talking Carl and all of these. Let me just get to Red Laser first. Let me actually back away this camera really quick. All right, guys, sorry about that. Um, I'm back. I raised the camera, changed the lighting. So here we go. Um, Red Laser is mainly, actually, it's only for the iPhone since it uses the camera. So if you're an iPod Touch user, um, or, or if you keep on one, if you actually can stay if you want to keep on one, I don't really care what you do. But I'm just letting you know right now that this is requires the camera on your iPhone, and so you will not be able to use it with the iPod Touch. Red Laser is a scanning uh, application that works extremely well, and it's so useful. I haven't got a chance to use it because I haven't gone out and bought anything in a really long time. But next time I do, I will guarantee we'll definitely use this. So what this is is you can take pretty practically any product. Richard Solo case they send out to me. Press this button. Actually, let's go over the interface first. So here we go. This is this is the uh, menu you come to at first. These are here are all your scanned items. Um, you can edit them, delete some if you want. In case you're scanning inappropriate items, <laughs> you can email them or show some help for them. And this is the scanning button that'll actually take the picture of the scan, and that's what you need to use to scan items. Or you can write in a standard UPC code like the one shown here, and that'll just tell you the price, um, and that'll tell you the stuff right then and there. Uh, or you can be the cool guy and use a scanner. So you press that button, and now you're brought to a scanning screen. And ready? You just stick the lines until they turn green, and there you go. It scanned it, and it says, oh, wow, good job. Richard Solo Custom Case for iPhone 3G, $17, $17 online, and it's also $17 right there. Um, and so you can see that it's extremely fast. It's really, really interesting how they can do that with just a camera, and it's quite a cool application. So I can take that. I can take Deadly, um, Discovery Channel's Deadliest Catch. I don't watch his show. I just have this because my uncle got it for me. Takes a scan like that, and it says... Deadly is catch complete season one DVD, and it shows you if it if if the information is available, um, the online prices and also local prices. So you can see at my local Best Buy, they do, are selling this exact one for nineteen ninety nine. So it's very helpful if you're going out and buying things, even food. It scans food, even though for most food it doesn't really work that well. Some foods, if you're lucky, maybe like these. Hold on. Uh, taco, 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 I scanned a taco box. Ortega taco, hot sauce. See, it works for um, brand name products, but if you're like at Whole Foods and they have their own shit, I don't really know if it'll work for that. Um, but it really works for most items that you can find or laying around the house or things you really like buy. So for, for instance, this Frappuccino bottle from Starbucks. I love Starbucks. Scans it. Extremely quick, extremely easy. You can see... Coffee, Frappuccino, blended coffee. And if they do, if it also, again, if it has the information, it will give you nutrition facts, which is extremely interesting for this type of application. I can take a water bottle. Like that. And it says, Poland Spring not found. So 
for the rare few items that it actually doesn't like know that this program doesn't know, um, you can take a picture of this the product and send it to them, and they'll help identify it and increase their database of products that you can scan. Um, but so if something comes up, it says it still says product of Poland Spring, but they can't find any prices. Um, I can go one more. This Autobox case. There you go. And it says Autobox iPhone commuter case white. So you see that there's all these online prices and there are also local prices. And this app is extremely helpful if you're out shopping a lot and you want to find cheaper prices for say, oh I don't know, electronics, um, movies, DVDs, clothes even maybe. I haven't scanned any clothes because I haven't kept any tags. But um, it's really, it really will help you a lot if you're, you know, if you're a if you're a smart buyer and you always look for the cheapest price. Uh, let me show you something. My Canon Vixia. I scanned that box and look how much stuff <laughs> look how much stuff came out. Forty six in total results. You have two local again at Radio Shack and Circuit City. It's funny because they don't actually have the, they have this one in my local Best Buy, but it's not showing up. Um, and they also have reviews, which is extremely cool. So let's go to that. So this app again is extremely helpful if you're trying to find the lowest price, um, and you have you happen to have you know the box of the product or the UPC code. Um, so that's Red Laser, and if you have an iPhone, it's a very really helpful um, utility and uh, application that'll really help you become a smarter shopper. So next time I'm going to go buy a DVD, say a Band of Brothers, I love that series, or The Pacific when that comes out on DVD, I'm just going to go to Best Buy and say, hmm, maybe they're pro they probably might be selling this online for a little cheaper. So I'm going to go up, scan it just like this, and hopefully I'll find the cheaper price online like I did here. I bought this thing for $19.99, it says Rover eBay, $12. So, you know what, I wasted like six, seven, whatever, how many dollars. Um, so that's Red Laser. So I really do recommend this one if you have an iPhone. It's extremely helpful if you're a shopper and you're looking always looking for the lowest price and who isn't. And I already did, I just did a review on Auditorium. That was the first game I reviewed. Um, that one's a really great music game. It's free for the iPod Touch and iPhone, so I definitely go check that one out as well. That's all, it, that's all I'm going to do for now. It's iPod Touch everywhere. Hope you had a wonderful day. Why am I saying that? I don't know. <laughs> I, hope you guys, I hope you enjoyed that review. It's kind of a long review. Um, I'll see you guys around. It's everywhere. Peace.